Brandy was just starting to feel normal again after being carjacked last week, her bruises fading from trying to fight off the suspects who took her car. How can people be so selfish? Sheriff's deputies arrested Samantha Curry a day later, passed out in Cindy's stolen vehicle. But on Monday, Curry posted bond. Did you know she was out of jail? No, I didn't. And that's what is frightening. And she wasn't out for long. Night Curry is right back behind bars. During her few days of freedom, new court documents detail a long crime spree police say Curry and Anthony Padilla went on together. They traumatized a lot of people. In the criminal complaint, Curry told detectives Padilla would tell her where to drive and park. The pair is accused of then robbing a waitress, stealing another car, and later, Curry told police they saw an older lady take money from an ATM, then followed her to her home and tried to rob her. Cindy feels horrible knowing more people have fallen victim since her. It seems like they just commit a crime and you get back out of jail and you go doing your same old thing. But this time, Curry isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Jail records show a no bond hold and Cindy says finally she has some peace of mind.